Hey friends, it's Dana. I am here at Sunset Grove, just getting ready for Christmas, this Christmas Eve 2022, and I've got presents to wrap. So um, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to um, just tie some really easy bows. You don't have to have like a hot glue gun or um, any kind of sewing material. It's just ribbon. <laughs> I'm excited because I am all about getting things done quickly and efficiently and so this is my just quick easy method and they end up looking really beautiful so stay tuned and let's make some bows together. So I've got these cute little um, baking tins that I just got at the craft store and uh, we made, uh, Bella and I made some baked stuff to give for presents this year. Um, just because, you know, we are really into doing our own things at home here. Um, so we made some banana bread as a loaf. We made some hot chocolate cookies and if you haven't tried these, you really need to. They're so easy and delicious right here um, and then of course decorated sugar cookies with all the sprinkles in there so we're gonna just put the lid back on and put a bow around it so I'm just starting with this ribbon it's got um, wire on each side so that makes it a lot easier to ply and shape and mold and so what i do is i put one over the top turn it over and then pull the ribbon up to make sure it's even i know you can't see me do that but And then do a twist. Make sure it's really tight. I like to center it too. So just pull it as tight as you can. Turn it over. just do a crisscross pull underneath and tighten it as tight as possible and I double tie it having the wire in there helps you tie your bows really tight too so it stays. So then I just do little bunny ears two little bunny ears and I pull a little extra out because you can always pull it in later but you can't necessarily make it bigger so leave a little extra there so you can pull it in and make it nice and tight. Go under. Tighten it up. And I always straighten this out here. So it leaves less of a bump and it's nice and cute. So tighten it up and then you pull on these to tighten up the bow and make it smaller. I 
always get these ribbons when they're like 60% off at the craft store right after Thanksgiving. And that way I have them <clears throat> for Christmas and I get 60% off. <laughs> so, and it really makes the presents pop. So I just work the bow until I like the shape. And we're gonna put another bow on top of this. So we want this one to kind of stick out a little bit more so that the bow on top can be smaller and it looks like a layered effect. Working it until I like it because I can't change this one after I do the other one. So I think that's a good size for the bottom bow. And then we're gonna just make sure everything's straight. as can be, tight, and I like to have them nice and even too. Okay, and now we do the same thing on top, so we're just going to bunny ears. And you can twist it around to make it use extra ribbon because extra is better than not enough <laughs> um, with this kind of project. It's really frustrating to get to the top bow and then you don't have enough. So that one doesn't look very good so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna reach retie it again. These are really super cute and no extra heating gun or stitches and when your friends get them they can just untie them. Pull it tight and then we just work work it. Just work it. And I always get the middle part turned over and straight so that it looks cute. Tighten it up. And then pull it out again. So excited about Christmas! I got my boyfriend something really cool. Jason's gonna love it. Um, and Bella got a lot of things that were on her list. So there we go. And we have enough to do another bow. See there's there's a lot left so I might do one more. Make sure this is nice and tight first. And this gives you that cute little layered look. And the wire in the ribbon really helps to like shape the bow so that it pops out which is what I like. I don't like a flat bow. Those are boring. There we go. This 
is for Jason's parents. They're going to be so excited. That banana bread was easy and fast. And I just saved ripe bananas that we didn't get to eat in time and put them in the freezer until I had enough to make banana bread. Oh, cool. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna just turn that because I want that to be up, the design part to be up. And I love the wired ribbon again because like you can just shape it however you want. It's awesome. So I'm just going to do like I did the last one and pull it out. This really gives the bows some depth. pretty bow on the presents. So it makes it holiday cheerful. There we go. So now we have three layers on that. It's looking pretty good. I like the way that it's popping up off the box. And I'm just going to position these extra pieces so that they pop out and then I'm going to cut them about that length. So, if you're a perfectionist like I am, then you might work your bow a little bit longer. <laughs> If you're not, then you'd probably be done by now. So these are just so easy and quick. I've been putting them on like every present. Um, I also canned a lot of our uh, jalapenos and peppers that we got from the garden last summer. And so I did these bows on those jars as well and they look super cute. All right, so I'm going to cut this here, just like at a diagonal, so it looks nice and clean. And there we go. Done. And I'll just put a tag on it, a name tag, and then we'll be done. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like it. Thanks. Bye.